Shout out to all my Aries guides and goddesses. I am C, the spiritual goddess, here for your Aries message. Yes, all my Aries guides and goddesses, leave me some Aries emojis in the comments if you are an Aries checking this out. This is the messages you need to hear from Spirit. I just decided to come on and shuffle some cards for the collective Aries. Don't forget, this is a collective message. If you would like a more personal message. Oh, we are in the cards. I'm, I'm not going to accept that. You can, you can book a general reading now. The price is listed on my site. So make sure you guys check that out there. All right. So I want to go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for Aries. This is for Aries All Placements. What messages we have for the collective? We're gonna jump right into it. All right. Okay, so we have the hangman. We have six of pentacles in reverse. All right. And then the high priestess. Okay, guys and goddesses, let's get into it. All right, Aries, so Spirit is saying some of you may be feeling like you're trapped in a situation. I'm getting a sense of maybe you um, recently either took on a workload or I don't know, I'm getting so for some of you, it could be a living situation, whatever this is. This could be a situation that involves multiple people. I'm feeling like Spirit is saying you've been feeling stuck. You've been feeling like you're in a rut, right? Something's not right about a particular person is what Spirit is saying. They could be offering you, maybe you got an offer of something and you just don't trust it. You may feel like if you take this offer or you could have already taken this offer, it comes with more strings attached than necessary. I don't know, I'm getting a sense of, say like if you're, I don't know, I'm getting a sense of like, maybe like you're dating someone, it's like you, like a sugar daddy vibes. Someone who like, yeah, I'll give you money to pay your rent. And I'll do this for you. But um, it comes with some type of strings attached. And whatever this is, it's not really feeling right is what Spirit is saying. Like before you take on this contract or this role or get in bed with this person, Spirit is saying, are you paying attention to your intuition? I'm getting a sense for my Aries. Now is the time to really pay attention. I don't know, some of you, Spirit is saying, you're ignoring that voice that's within you that's been guiding you this whole time. Some of you could be um, teachers or, or some of you could be like some type of spiritual leader or of some sort or whatever. And you may be feeling like a Judas <laughs> in, like, in the background. But Spirit is saying you need to really pay attention to that and take a step back before making a decision. I am getting though, with me saying this, a lot of these ties that you think you have is really more so within you. It's I'm getting a sense of it's mental because you're ignoring that voice within your head. That's very interesting. Let's pull some more cards. Let's see what other messages Spirit wants to give to you. Thank you so much. How are you? How are you Aries, by the way? How are you guys? What's things been like for you? I'm just sitting, hopefully you guys aren't interrupted by the rain in the background and everything like that. It's a really, one of these days I like where it's raining, it's kind of, people say gloomy, I love days like this. All right, give me some more cards. What's going on? What messages? What advice do you want to get to the spirit like you? Yeah. Keep your, keep your goals to yourself. Keep your prize to yourself. Spirit is saying like, there's something that you're trying to create that you have close to you. Um, there's some type of decision that has to be made. For some of you, you could be pregnant. Maybe it's like your pregnancy. The spirit is telling you to keep it to yourself. But for a lot of you, I'm getting whatever this is, whatever decision that you have to make, it's important for you to keep it to yourself.
because I feel like you can have someone that's around you that can really thwart this or put this down. Spirit is saying, be careful on who, what you share. Also, it could, I don't know, for some of you, this could be like someone offering you like advice or I feel like for some of you, this is you really ignoring, like ignoring yourself. Spirit is saying, we got this Ace of Wands in reverse. Like you need to really pay attention. You really need to pay attention to your intuition. Like by you ignoring it, you're really doing yourself a disservice is what Spirit is saying. It's like, you know what you know, but you're just trying to ignore it. And it's, and it's putting you in a position to where you're gonna feel stuck or binded. I don't know, for some of you, even if it's a situation where it's a financial burden that you have to take on, like, you know, saying yes to something, giving someone or loaning someone money may cause you to be tied up in a situation. Whatever it is, Spirit is saying, now is not the time to be burdened with a lot of voices. Now is the time for you to listen to your voice, listen to your inner voice, trust your intuition, trust your higher power is what Spirit is saying. Let's see, I'm gonna pull some Moonology cards for you guys. I don't wanna keep this video too long. Let's see what final message Spirit has for you. And once again, guys, don't forget, this is a general message. If you guys want a more personal one, my general readings right now are posted. I am now accepting those. So you can get messages you need to hear now, personally, <laughs> for yourself for a good, affordable price, okay? Look, if you can afford a bag of happy flowers, you can afford a reading, okay? For my readings, that's how cheap they are. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. Okay, so we got a time for healing. A new start is coming. Time to, it's time to release negativity. Okay, baby, listen here, okay? This is loud and clear. Spirit is saying now is the time for you to be really working on yourself, working on your spiritual development, working on whatever it is that you're trying to, to create. And you don't have time for the negativity. Now is the time for you to start doing a lot of that shadow work that you may have been putting off. We will be talking about that here on my channel. So stay up. Uh, make sure you subscribe for that here. But Spirit is saying, now is the time for you to really work on healing, work on protecting yourself during this time. You know, I'm, I don't know what I'm getting. Like Spirit wants you to really lean into yourself during this time because i definitely feel like there we got a new start is coming so you're going on a new chapter and spirit is saying i'm trying to send you messages to protect you but you're really ignoring it and they don't really want you to be caught up again now is the time for you to take inventory of your life we talk about that here on the channel all the time taking inventory of your life looking at who is around you that's serving you for your higher good and who you need to who you need to or uh, looking at what no longer serves you and making those changes this is the time for you to do that i would definitely suggest for a lot of you because we got this time to release negativity if you feel something spirit is telling you once you gain clarity or like i used to work in the technical field they say gain agreement on something once you gain agreement within yourself that this is what it is, if you feel like you need to release it, release it is what Spirit is saying, okay? All right, so let's get into your affirmation. Thank you so much for being here, guys. If you're still here at this point, go ahead and leave a diamond in the chat. Leave a diamond in the chat. I'm going to go ahead and pull a affirmation, okay? Let's see. Ooh, I am a magnet for love, okay? So this says, I am a magnet for love. You don't have time for no negativity. You only want people around you that's going to give you back what you put out, okay, Aries? So I hope this reading made sense, Aries. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm so curious to hear from you. Don't forget to make sure you guys have that bell button on so you won't miss out on the other videos i posted here if you haven't already check out my channel we do different videos like this also i get into celebrity readings personal development and some 
meditation. It's just a fun channel all around, okay, guys? So make sure you guys subscribe and turn that notification on. Until then, all my gods and goddesses, don't forget to always rock your crown. See you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.